Hey guys, Jarek here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Brother, Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. This is a game I've honestly never played before. Uh, I played a few levels of it just to get adjusted to it before actually streaming it. Uh, it's a big pet peeve of mine when people play a game, they start streaming a game that they've never played before and they don't know what they're doing. Uh, I'm currently waiting for YouTube to catch up so I can see what the stream looks like on the second screen. Once that catches up, I will jump into game. You should be seeing a black screen right now. That's perfectly normal. I'm currently testing YouTube's new, um, they added a Twitch-like feature. You have your own live channel, whatnot. Um, it's interesting. I don't exactly know entirely how it works yet, so I'm experimenting with it. I don't know if it's going to bring me more views or less views or how it's going to work. I can say I do like not having to set up a event just to stream something. Um, so, hey, I guess we'll just experiment. Okay, let me go ahead and jump in the game. Alright, there we go. Alright. Like I said, I played a few levels to get adjusted to it. Apparently, according to people in the chat, you can now view on your phone, which you couldn't do before when it comes to streams. Which kind of sucks. There's a gnat flying around my face that is going to drive me crazy for the entire time I'm streaming. For those of you watching on YouTube, I don't have the chat disabled over there, but I would highly recommend you go over to here, which is what I'm using for the stream chat. This is my Steam group chat. Uh, I have this open on my second screen. It's just more consistent and more reliable than YouTube's chat is. So I would recommend going over here and typing over here just so you can actually talk without having to wait for being limited every, what, 20 seconds or something before you can say something, all this stuff. <laughs> and instantly the first comments I get on YouTube is, yo, first. All right. Let's just start a new game. I'll start it on normal difficulty. My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families, those you raise and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here. Eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead. Eight days watching my men, my family, kill and be killed. Eight days wishing it would stop. Baker! You okay, Baker? Get him in! Shit! For fuck's sake, can you hear me? Can you fucking hear me? For fuck's sake, this is fucking me! Answer me, damn it! Sorry, I can't see anyone! We need armor now!
I never asked to be squad leader, but I had no choice. Now I've got 13 soldiers under my command. 13 men depending on me to make the right decisions and not get them killed. 13 families relying on me to bring their husbands and sons home. 13. 13 is not a lucky number. Suddenly standing, it's fine. We got quite a few people in the chat over on YouTube. Um, it would be nice if we had more people over in this chat, because I do pay attention more to this chat. Uh, I put a link down below in the video information to my Steam group chat, but if you don't have Steam, because I know not everyone is a PC gamer, um, if you're not, you really should be. Steam makes it so much easier. Not trying to sound elitist with that statement. Uh, but the Steam group chat definitely is, is more... It's better than the YouTube's chat. YouTube's chat is... Sometimes it doesn't update properly, other times it's just annoying. Um, but I'm leaving the YouTube chat open for now. I am policing it. So do you keep that in mind? Play more Payday 2. As I've said many times before, and this person says play more Payday 2 with PLZZZ big caps lock. I, I'm not playing any more Payday 2. I, I don't like Payday 2. Um, I don't like how RPG it is. I, I just want to I want to play a shooter. Uh, I really like the first Payday game. I'm not a fan of Payday 2 at all. Where the hell's all your gear? Oh, shit. Take my 45 and shoot anything that's worth it. I know how to play a shooter. Thank you. On den brauchen wir uns, glaube ich, keine Sorgen mehr zu machen. Ob da noch mehr sind? There's a couple of houses here. I'm gonna try and figure out where the hell we are. I believe this game came out in 2005. Um, it's pretty obviously came out around the PS2 era. Let's move, Baker. <laughs> Why you what? <laughs> what? Um it's like Battlefield three all over again. Who's 
there. Oh shit, Mac and Baker. I thought it was lost. Quiet. Keep your voice down or the whole goddamn German army will show up. There'll be plenty of time to reminisce later. Anybody know where we are? No idea. I'll find out. Stay put. Hello, just we American. American. What town is this? Any of y'all know French? I can't understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Pouvez-vous nous dire où nous sommes? Uh, she says we're just northeast of St. Mary Glees. Damn it! Well, we're heading the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can gather some more guys. Y'all head that way, through the gate, and link up with anyone else you find as you head east. Stay alive. That's an order. You really start to notice the quirks a person has when you think he might be dead in a week. I remember the first time I saw Leggett. It was in the breakfast tent. He was cutting a hard-boiled egg into small pieces with a knife, like ham. <laughs> it occurred to me at this point I'd never in my 23 years of existence seen a man cut an egg into slices like that. I don't know why I remember that. There's an AA gun over there. We have to take it out. Are you gonna pay for that? You just broke her damn gate. Like it? Shove a sock in it. The thing about this game that I'm entirely okay with compared to older World War II games is that they actually have characters that are characters. It's not a generic, go America, everyone's gonna die because America. It focuses more on a specific squad during a war that kinda sucks. I love how back then, this was officially cover, whereas pretty much games nowadays would be like, whatever, he's standing behind wood, just shoot it. Fucking mat flying around me, it's driving me crazy. Keep Baker, up the fire! 
First thing you'll probably notice with any bolt action in this game, so much muzzle sway. Like, it's a legitimately difficult to use this. Like, this is me not touching anything. It sways so much, and it seems like the longer you wait, it doesn't really change a whole lot. Poor bastards. We should help them. Maybe there's still some alive. What do we do? There's nothing we can do. But Sarge! Keep moving, Leggett! So this game does a lot of things that you can tell is uh, it's indicative of an old game. Like any time I pick up a weapon, this huge black box comes up in the middle of my screen saying, "You picked up the weapon," and it just blocks everything. Like, yeah, I know. Thanks. Do you really need to tell me in such an intrusive way? What game does weapons write? Uh, a few. Killing 4 does. If you see me shooting wildly at the enemy, that's not me actually trying to hit the enemy, that's just me trying to suppress the enemy. So that they can't shoot back. Because this game has an interesting suppression mechanic. Uh, if you suppress the enemy, that's what that red circle around it is. Uh, when that turns gray, they're suppressed, which means they'll stay behind cover more and shoot back at you less. So suppressing is kind of important, you don't need to shoot to actually hit things in this game. Why is it... the compass is trying to tell me to go that way, but whatever, I'll just deal with the enemies.
Also, this is back around that time where everyone was like going overkill with Ragdoll. Because that's like a new technology at the time. And I really wish that would come back. Like, seeing ridiculous Ragdoll like this is just makes me so happy. Disable that gun with some TNT. So we can get the hell out of here. I already did this. Did I break the game by doing the objective too early? I think I broke the game by doing it too early. That's really annoying. No scope! No scoping doesn't work well, who would have thought? I don't see any more. Baker! Disable that gun with some TNT! So we can get the hell out of here. Play Destiny if you like it. I don't like Destiny. I don't like RPG based shooters in general. Like, when I want to play a shooter, I want to play a shooter. I don't want gear getting in the way. I don't want stats being changed. I want static everything so that when you win, it's because you were good and not because you had better gear. And to that other gamer spamming, are you continuing, continuing airsoft videos? For the love of God, please stop asking me that question and please stop spamming the comments with it. Like, I'm not trying to be rude to anyone, but uh, that comment has been spanned to my gaming account. Does this look like my airsoft account to you? No. Stop it. We can't stop the rest now. The four ID is coming up through Utah Beach. And there are Germans all over that area. Let's move. Also, yeah, there's that. Destiny is really, really repetitive and grindy. In the plane, just before we jumped, I finally came to the conclusion that I had to swallow my fears, take charge, and lead these men. It seems fate has a dark sense of humor. 
I'm a man with hell standing between me and my men. I got word from another platoon that some of our boys dropped in this area. Crowds were nice enough to flood it for us as a welcoming gift. Sure as shit isn't going to be easy finding them out here. Unless, of course, they... find us. Is that red? This crowd's all over. I think I saw a mortar team just back there. Jesus, it's great to see you guys. I spent this morning in a ditch full of water. But I got one. Picked him off as he sipped his morning joe. Did I mention it was great to see you guys? The landings are scheduled for 0630, so there's no time to lose. Baker, you take Heartsock and clear the main road. I'll try to gather up anyone I can find around here. I'll meet you on the beach and we'll try to link up with 4th Infantry. Good luck, guys. Quick, get over there! Roger that! Got it! Oh my god, I know what I'm doing. Can we please stop? Don't stop firing! Firing! Follow me! Roger that! This Nat, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill this thing. It's driving me crazy. on alt tabbing really quickly Yeah, I agree with that. Brothers in Arms is definitely a very underappreciated game series. There we go. Okay. So, all tabbed really quickly. Just so that I could add the word airsoft into the spam filter. Because honestly, I get these comments way too much. And it's not relevant to anything I'm doing at all. And it's just kind of annoying. Hit them Run. now! Red! Take cover there! Here we go! Got it! 
Red! Fire on that position! Covering fire! Lay it on! Get up here! Roger! I like how Brothers in Arms was basically Vegas before Vegas was a thing. And yeah, I mean, this game, definitely, as far as single player goes, is way better than Call of Duty or Medal of Honor. Um, I think I would prefer to play Medal of Honor Airborne, but that's like the weird exception. Just Airborne was so amazing, as far as the game goes. Fire now! God, these iron sights are just so bad. Can't see anything. I need heavy fire on those boys. He threw a grenade backward at me. Eh, I, I never really liked Call of Duty single player. Like, I like Treyarch multiplayer, but even back during the World War II Call of Duty games, like Call of Duty 2 and whatnot, I did not like the single player missions. I thought they were too linear. Like, eh, I never really cared for them. Some fire on him. Here we go. The commander. Okay, hip fire is not really viable, it seems. Oh, I need ammo. Hey guys in the chat, what's going on? I have quite a few people talking in both the uh, stream chat and the Steam group chat. Um, quite a few people in the Steam group chat. So I would assume the... Oh, it's a friendly, guys. I would assume the stream looks good, the quality's fine, the game's not too loud or any of that good stuff. Wasn't sure if we were going to see any you guys. Been shooting at Germans coming off that beach all morning. One poor bastard was trying to take a crap when Alan plugged him. I swear, he was going for his gun! We got this as well. Poor bastards had had to put up a hell of a fight before a potato masher got the best of them. Browning 30 cal. Watch out for the blood on the trigger. Got it! Roger that!
That guy's never gonna come out of cover without all of us shooting at him. You're okay. Looks like the fourth ID has things under control. As soon as they start moving their equipment ashore, we'll get resupplied and move out. I've got to speak to HQ to figure out where the hell the rest of our men are. Get some rest while you can. We got a long day ahead of us. I understand the large hearts of heroes, the courage of present times. It's from a poem my dad used to read me as a kid. It amazes me that something so beautiful could be part of something so ugly. Someone in the chat is saying, notice me, Jarek Senpai. I notice you, Rapid Freckles Gamer. <laughs> yeah, most people haven't played this game. Uh, I feel like Brothers in Arms as a whole, the series is really underrated. Kick off, Fox 3. Can you hear? Over. So we're supposed to kill them all before they finish breakfast. Say, what do you suppose crowds eat for breakfast anyway? Sausage? Toast? Oh, God damn it! Cold glass of blood? Sarge, I can't get anyone on this thing. We're fucked. All right, same plan as before. Hartsock, you're with Baker. The crowds know we're here, so go say hello the airborne way. You mean shoot them? Yes, obviously, Private Allen. It's just, I've never said hello like that. You could just say shoot them. Well, smartass, you're with me. Baker, remember most of these guys don't know we're coming. So you and Hartsock tread lightly while you can. Move it! Are you instantly gonna start shooting at them? No. Yep, never mind. Red! Head that way! Roger that! Don't go around that way. What the hell? Why did my teammate just fucking run right in the middle of the enemy like that? Yeah, 
Jawohl, sofort! I don't want to be this way. Can I shoot down at them through here? I can. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, this Thompson. It, it's way better than the Grand. Way better than all the other weapons I've used. Ooh. What? <laughs> okay. The gun just kind of shrank away. Uh, how does it feel? I can use your gun too. Where? Oh, you're way the hell over there. This Thompson is so much better than everything semi-automatic. I have no other way to go. These I really do like how the grenades heavily suppress enemies. How much ammo do I have? Whatever. What are the enemies shooting at? Apparently not me. Okay, aiming is actually really difficult with this ridiculous muzzle sway. Oh, weapons, thank you.
I cannot do a whole lot about this. This would be a lot easier if my teammate didn't decide to be a complete idiot and run into the open and die. There, that was way more difficult than it should have been. Who said you could have lunch? Breakfast, dinner, whatever time of the day it is. All right, it's connected. Back blast clear. Oh shit! Load another. Oh, load another. Hang on. Load it now, Garnet. Hang on. No, hang on. If you get me killed, Garnet. I swear to God, I will fucking kill you! Load it! Wire's connected! Go! Fuck, I can't walk through here. Invisible walls. Love of God, die. Ah. See, when I say die, I didn't mean me. Yes, I have played um, Republic Commando. I actually really do like Republic Commando. I'm still waiting for a remake of Republic Commando, but... Do I have a grenade? It's connected. Back blast clear. Oh shit! Load another. Load another. another. Uh, nah. I'm I'm not really a South Park fan. I actually have a little bit of disdain for South Park because I find it just. My problem with South Park is that sometimes it's hilarious, and other times it's just so stupid. And that's most of the time. And it's not even stupid in the like the way people praise it for. It's just too dumb to be funny. It's like why does why does anybody like this? Can I shoot through this? I think I can. No. What? Ow. <laughs> Where did that guy come from? See, the biggest problem I have with this game is that you cannot cancel your reload. 
once you get into a reloading animation, you're stuck doing that reload. What the hell? Why are they jumping? I'm sure we'll do something that crazy a few more times before the sun goes down. So who's hungry? The keys are still in it! I say this Opal Blitz just became official U.S. Army property. What do you think, Mac? I think I'm driving. familiar faces makes a place like this almost feel like home almost sometimes I forget Alan and Garnett are two people they showed up at Fort Bragg together and no one has seen them apart since we just started saying Alan and Garnett like it was one word even with the damn mist drops they still managed to stay together What do you suppose killed him? Was an old age, I know that. They wouldn't just leave him here. Didn't we take this town? I think we have to assume for the time being that Fukaville isn't under our control. Red, you're ruining my good mood. So what's the plan, Baker? I wanted my Thompson back. I hit the same button for me to tell them to suppress the enemy. It's the same button to tell them to move. What the hell? Shoot them, thank you. Okay, black guy magic has a machine gun. Red, 
God damn it, I hate that. I want you to shoot it. Quick, get over there! Suppress those bastards! Thank you. There's one thing that really- oh shit, hi. There's one thing that really annoys me about this game is that you should not survive a grand shot. Oh crap, I forgot to pick up the, uh, carbine. I need to find an MP40 somewhere. My health is really low. How did that blow up right on them and not kill them? Take cover there. Get to that cover. I need you over there. Go, go, go. There. Double time. Roger. Unload on them. Position. <laughs> uh, that's pretty silly. I got the US M1. Oh, okay, grand. Say M1, I'm going to assume carbine. This is risky and I might die. Hopefully it doesn't shoot at me. Oh, okay, I'm good. Get off that turret. That's a lot of Germans. Target. Set up there. That's Go over there. The amount of times that happens, I'm just trying to tell them to shoot at the enemy instead.
That is one of the most common questions I get when it comes to games. Is, is this game free? I do not understand. I need help. Oh. Shift fire. Covering fire. Covering fire. Board on there. I can't shoot there, Sarge. I can't oh, hit him. Shit. What are they doing? They're just like glitching into the wall. Rally on me. This is possibly the first game that allowed you to reload the Garand whenever the hell you wanted to. The miracle. Oh, hi. You're with me. Hurry up. Get over. I need you over there. Let's go. Got it. Good lord, MG42 OP. If I get hit once by any of these, I'm dead. I have very low health. We got here as soon as we could. Heard our guys were wiped out in the German counterattack. 
Baker, I pegged you wrong. First I thought you were a shy, poetic young man. Turns out you're a shy, poetic young man who kills everyone who gets in his way. That's a downright admirable quality. Who are my favorite YouTubers? Um, you know, to be honest, I don't really watch other people. Uh, I watch a lot of competitive Smash, as long as it's Melee and not Smash 4. Other than that, like, I really don't follow many people. I just kind of do my own thing. It's amazing what you talk about after the lead stops flying around you. Hartsaw told us of one bar fight too many. His reward was a nasty scar on his cheek courtesy of a loudmouth lumberjack and a broken beer bottle. Alan and Garnett said they both enlisted right after high school rather than wait to be drafted. When it was my turn to talk, I just froze. I realized that nothing in my life before had really meant anything until now. We have to link up with the other squads in Beerville. Any minute now, gliders are gonna start landing in that field. If a glider hits even one of those poles, it's curtains for the boys inside. Clear out as many of those damn things as you can. You know, he has a nasty habit of making this shit sound easy. Okay, Baker, lead the way. Fall in! Let's move! Roger that! I want my Thompson back. Thompson is such a good gun. Man, I'm remembering why I turned off YouTube comments. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's more of them down back there. Shooting at me from over there. Let's give him all we got. I'm kind of doing the stupidest thing ever, just fucking walking through the middle of the field. But whatever, it's K. Why did you come back?
I like how I have an infinite amount of satchels that I can put down. And that I don't actually put them on the poles, I just put them on the ground. You guys not head that way Heavy base of fire there now Here we go Reloading I'm Well, that was close. They all die? I think so, they all stopped shooting. Bring it in! Get moving! Roger! So I just have to mention all of you people in the Steam part of the stream comments. You guys are pretty awesome. <laughs> I find it amusing. I usually turn off YouTube comments because YouTube comments get pretty stupid really quickly. Um. For example, someone in the chat is named God is Great, <laughs> and uh, his first thing he said when he joined the chat was, why don't you just play Call of Duty or Battlefield? I'm like, ugh. Oh, that's a machine gun. Damn it, I can't jump over this. There we go.
I'm all tabbed really quickly. Give me a moment. There we go. Okay. The uh, God is great guy instantly gets banned for being dumb. Oop. Position! Impressive fire! So this section of the game does one of those really annoying things that is basically enemies are going to continue respawning until you finish the objectives, which I'm always against. Clown closets are just... that's a dumb video game mechanic. It really should not exist. It feels cheap and whenever you die to it, it doesn't feel like you legitimately got like outplayed or you messed up. Just like, oh, okay. Wow. Alright, that's some bullshit. I'm gonna have to do all that over again. God fucking damn it. That is really annoying. And Gonzo is trying to get attention, so you're going to get blocks too. See, this is why I disable YouTube chats and put everything over to Steam comments along with YouTube's kind of commenting system being dumb. I'd also like to avoid the complete idiots on YouTube. Because there's always those few loud morons that are like 12-year-olds that have no free time, or way too much free time, I should say. 
nothing better than to do than to be annoying, so. Shoot my entire magazine of MP40. Can't kill them. Shoot one bullet with my Garand. Kill them instantly. Stay with me. You heard him. Let's move. Roger. Suppressing fire. You know, honestly, that's a statement I can agree with. I honestly do not care about airsoft as an activity, but I like guns, and I think guns are cool. So that's kind of what's been going on with my airsoft account. I really, really don't care about going out and airsofting, especially with the community being so terrible. Um... Um, you know, I really haven't posted anything to my Airsoft account in a long while, honestly, that's just because of lack of motivation and not really caring too much. Um, along with the community being really terrible, as I've already stated before. Like, if you see anything over there, I'm not... See, this is the reason I haven't made a video saying I'm not posting my Airsoft account ever again, because I'm not disappearing from it. I'll post every once in a while, I guess, but if you see anything, it's just a review or whatnot, but that's the extent of my involvement. You know, I, I, it's amusing how the airsoft community works, because I, whenever I go to games, I get people constantly walking up to me, and they're like, dude, I love your videos, I love what you do, and they're most, the most respectful people to me. But that same person, just 40 seconds later, will walk over to someone else, and just trash them for having gear that's not as good. Like, oh, that's that's really two-faced. I don't think they like us too much, Sarge.
Yeah, I still love Dino D Day. Dino D Day is still one of my favorite games. Like honestly, I need to play it more. It's still active. Like I would really urge people to go play it. <laughs> Man, I thought I was a goner. Thanks for taking those things down. I figured I'd get skewered for sure. Hey, you with the 502nd, right? I'm supposed to resupply you guys. I got plenty of ammo inside. Take whatever you need. I couldn't sleep, so I made sure the guys pulling guard were awake. In the dark, you can't help but think about home. I was thinking about George. How he used to launch bottle rockets in a creek behind his house and blame it on the kids down the street. How he always seemed to go after the same girls in high school. How he could be dead right now, and I wouldn't even know it. Well, most of the time I was relaying messages to higher headquarters for Mac. I only saw Krauts there at the end. You guys look like you had a rough morning. Baker, we've got an M5 light tank moving here to provide support. Link up with him and clear the town. I don't know how many Krauts are in the area, so take it easy. Good luck, boys. Yes, I have a Thompson. Yeah, I don't know when the next Brothers in Arms game is going to come out. Uh, I hope it comes out soon. I doubt it will. They've really never announced it. I don't. I really don't know what's going on with it. Hi. saving your ass, Matt. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Consider me part of the squad. with me double time follow Got me Some armor here. We gotta get around them. Cease fire. Cease fire. <laughs> That's pretty awesome to have.
Uh, don't turn, damn it. Move now. Just give me some armor over there. Red, I need you over there. Get that cover. Set up there. Let's go. Roger. Damn it, I can't tell what to go over there. Jesus Christ, that's not overkill at all. Oh my god! Okay, I don't need to do anything, just let my tank kill everything. Red! Stay with me! You heard him, let's move! Got it! Nope. that tank! Red! Fall in! Let's go! Roger! Oh fuck, the tank is coming this way. Ow. I don't know what just shot me there, but...
Come on, get over there! Was that the last one? Follow me! Move, now! Drop him when you see him! Let's stick together! Move! Follow me! Red! Tighten it up! Double time! Roger that! I heard on the radio that four guys from Fox Company were kicking the hell out of the Germans. I knew right away it had to be you, Matt. Glad to see you're still alive. We're headed to a crossroads up ahead. It doesn't have a name on the map. All right, let's get moving. Just stay close and we'll be fine. George and I sat on the back of his tank and talked for an hour about home over a K-ration. For once, it didn't taste like paste in a can. It's the weirdest feeling being at war with your best friend there. You feel almost invincible. Like nothing can stop you from driving all the way to Berlin and winning that ticket home. All right, Baker, we can't sit here. Let's clear this road. You guys can use my tank as cover and keep the crowd infantry off me. Let's go! Okay, I I will save this mission until the next time I stream. Uh, I stream for an hour and 45 minutes. And I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to be done for the day. I will continue this stream, should continue this stream tomorrow. I don't know how long it'll take till I beat this game. I have not played this far in this game before. Um, so all of this now is going to be new to me, and I have never beaten this game. The only game I have actually beaten in the Brothers in Arms trilogy, I don't, I don't know if I should properly call it a trilogy, because the third one ended and that to be continued. Uh, the only one I beat was Hell's Highway, and I don't remember much about it. I beat it way back in like 2008, something like that, so it's been a while. Uh, but I will play through all of them, and I'll get there eventually, so for now... Thank all you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, or whenever the, the next time I get around to streaming is. It won't be later tonight, but I'll see you then.